Mr. Cozy, guests and version one colleagues. My name is Louise Bath and I'm our Director of People and Strategy here at version one. And I would like to welcome you to our headquarters here in Dublin this morning for what we hope, despite the weather, will be a very positive start to 2023 as Enterprise Ireland delivers its end of year statement. I'd like to welcome a special guest this morning, Minister Cozy who was kind enough to give us his time in 2019 to open our new Cork office in Last Sea. Um, and I'm sure as a proud Cork man you are, you'd be pleased to hear that since that visit when we were 30 people, we've now grown to 85 and still growing strong from there. Govern government representatives can get harshly criticised these days, but rarely do they receive thanks. So I'd like to thank you, Minister, for your public service. And we thank you in particular for the hard work you've done on Brexit in particular, which had the potential to be a very unsettling event for businesses like version one. You take on the enterprise brief with record numbers of people employed in Ireland. We ourselves here in version one had 323 new starters here in the country last year. And indeed they were in the country because those roles are based not just here in Dublin, but in Cork, in Galway, in Mayo, in Port Beach, and everywhere in between as we've embraced the remote working and hybrid working that the last few years has allowed for. Enterprise Ireland has supported us in so many ways, through funding our research and development, by helping us build our innovation lab, and by supporting our graduate academy and ESG programmes, all of which we are very grateful for. Enterprise Ireland have really challenged us to grow, to export, and have been key to helping with our expansion. We have watched with a little bit of wry amusement as overseas companies have been lauded for adding 100 jobs here and there when we've doubled since 2020. 2022 certainly wasn't without its challenges. The availability and cost of accommodation has certainly been a constraint of growth for us and competition from those overseas companies has contributed to high salaries and rising costs. But we will overcome these challenges, as we always have and we always will. One of our six core values here at version one is no ego. And sometimes that means we don't shout about our achievements very much, but we're going to shout a little bit today. Because we start 2023 with over 3,000 people employed at version one, half of whom are here in Ireland. Ireland's growth will, Ireland's future and growth will continue to be dependent on Irish founded companies like ours that grow globally, and version one will continue to be one of those. We wouldn't be where we are today without Enterprise Ireland support, and we are very committed to adding more flexible and sustainable jobs here in Ireland, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you again, and with that, I'll hand over to Terence O'Rourke, Chairman of Enterprise Ireland.